And I want to state that Madam Anita Mung, she is not supposed to be called the right honorable speaker. She's a wrongful one because she doesn't follow the law according to this to this case. And I also want to tell you that as she took me to the disciplinary committee, actually she's supposed to get there. Reason B, she has ashamed Parliament of Uganda. And she's the one supposed to be in that committee. And I want to call upon my fellow members of parliament to begin on that one. Because she has been behaving and she's still behaving as a dictator. But she has been checked today. She thought she's untouchable, but today she has been touched. It is one nil now. We are waiting for her response because she is supposed to implement the law in that parliament of Uganda. Today, Honorable Zake has gotten victory from the constitutional court. You all remember Honorable Zake was sacked as the commission of parliament after they got an altercation by the then deputy speaker Anita Mung. In this process, Anita Mung used the MP for by the girl Martin Ojara Mapenduz to move a motion so, so that Honorable Zaka could be de-whipped off in this position. Honorable Zaka tweeted saying and I quote, Today morning, 17 months since I went there, the constitutional court has finally ruled that parliament's resolution to remove me from the office of the commissioner of parliament was a nullity. This for several reasons including that parliament did not have the requisite quorum and that the motion for my removal was unlawfully smuggled into the proceeding that day. Besides recognizing the plight of torture victims, the court has severely faulted speaker Anita Among's vindictive conduct and declared that it was unconstitutional for her to sit as the accuser the prosecutor and the judge against me. You might recall that in March 2022, Among presided over a mob that lynched me on the floor of parliament on the account of social media comments I allegedly made after she mocked my past history of torture by the regime. In the meantime, our struggle for promotion of rule of law and constitutionalism in our country carries on. That was uh, Zake. So in this episode, I've come to talk about what what transpired between Anita Mung and Robo Zake and how we reached here. But most importantly, what we can learn from this regime and how it conducts business. In the event that you are for the first time, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. Uh, both sides have something to rectify. You know that the speaker ought to acknowledge that what she did was wrong to mock Honorable Zake and others who have been tortured. Okay, the same way Honorable Zake acknowledges, he used strong language because he was deeply hurt and angry, and they can resolve it. But also, we need to be careful, you know, not to set a precedent. Because if the right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, uh, anybody that annoys her, you know, is going to be censured, then who is safe here? Tomorrow it will be the law. Tomorrow it could be myself as chairperson, of course. So it all started when Honorable Z when the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mung, mocked Honorable Zake about his torture deal. Because we all remember by that time, Honorable Zake had, had participated in the, all, in the All East African Games, where he was the winner in the marathon. When they came back, the Speaker of, of Parliament mocked him that he was running as if he was not tortured. In our culture, they say you don't have to fold a finger near a lame person, or otherwise he may think that you are mocking him. So in this way, the Speaker of Parliament mocked Honorable Zake, and Honorable Zake treated mocking the Speaker back. And what the Speaker did was he used the tool of Parliament to do whip Honorable Zake from the commissioner uh, 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 position. He used Martin Ojara Mapenduzi. Okay? Imagine um, Ojara or German Pindus, it is said that they used him so that he can be rewarded a position. Right now he's a commission, uh, uh, a chairperson of a committee which is supposed to be held by an NRM member. So I think they used Martin or German Pindus to, uh, so, so that the speaker can reward him for a certain position. Because in our rules of procedure, the speaker of parliament is the whip of all independent MPs. And remember, Martin Ojara Mapendi is also an independent member of parliament. So today the constitution court ruled out that parliament did not do the right thing. Okay? 
I've ever done very many videos about Speaker Nita Mong. First of all, Speaker Nita Mong is so vindictive. He's so excited. He didn't get a chance to learn from his predecessor because Jacob Bolanya died before he could learn so many things. In the rules of procedure of parliament, a speaker is not supposed to be called to order. And I think by the, the wisdom of, of the people who did these procedures, they thought that the speaker would be regarded as a high-ranking member that he, could, he knows what is in order and what is out of order. So they barred the parliament to call the speaker uh, out of order. You cannot call the speaker out of order. But in very many times, whenever you watch the parliamentary proceedings, you sometimes realize that there are some instances, instances where the speaker of parliament runs out of order. Okay? Okay. The, that is the the reason as to why. Ever since Anita Mung became the speaker, he has had very many altercation with very many members of parliament. There is a day he, he, he attacked ministers. Uh, I've ever done a video uh, 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 on why the speaker of parliament said that he's not liked by ministers. If you miss, I'm going to leave the link here in the description. It's the same reason as to why the speaker now, Anita Among, has ever had an interlocution with the deputy attorney general, Kafuz, because he wants to be knelt down for. Honorable Kafuz, there is one speaker in this house, and you'll never come and disrespect the speaker. You cannot report this house and say, we made a mistake, we forced you. And from today onwards, you will not come to this house and defend any bill. You will not do it under my leadership. The Speaker of Parliament must be an arbiter. The Speaker of Parliament must be wise. That is why they wear those white head socks to symbolize maturity. Because we all know sometimes maturity comes with experience, sometimes maturity comes with his wisdom. That is why they put on those wigs. But by the look of things, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, does not expose what the Speaker of Parliament must expose. In fact, to me, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament does the, the job better than Anita Among. Thomas Taiwa does the job better than Anita Among. The Speaker must not be vindictive. Even if you get an altercation with your member, it's, it's, it's right within your fora to sit him down you can ask him to apologize, but even if it, is, it, it was right, it's incumbent upon the speaker to sit his member down. A speaker is like the father in the home or mother in the home. A speaker is, in, is an arbiter. A speaker must have listening ears. And to me, Anita Among lacks these things. And I think Anita Among was picked on the account of, of balancing to have the speaker of parliament who is a man, and the deputy speaker was a woman. But even if it was that, there are very many women of valor who can hold this office. Okay? And it is not bad to, uh, to, 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 to have such a speaker if he is willing to learn. But if he, the speaker presides over parliament for all this time and if he continues to breach the standing orders, even when the proceedings were going on, the leader of opposition came out and cautioned the parliament not to act in this way. Here is the tape. The minority, I want to be on record today that the house is being led into an illegality. I want to be on record and that uh, the members that are moving, if they want to help the cause of the house, should address themselves to what we are supposed to do in this house, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable uh, Member from Fort Potro probably does not understand uh, or probably should be helped with how rules work. I want to be on record that uh, the matter he is moving is out of the rim of the, the rules. Probably he has another copy of the rules. I want to be addressed to them. Otherwise, uh, what is moving and the amendment talked about in uh, the motion does not bring us to that. I wanted to be on record, Honourable uh, Speaker, Honorable, uh, so that Honorable. the presiding officer is helped because it's our duty to work properly in the circumstances. Love, thank you, love. So that was Matthias Simpuga when he was cautioning Parliament ag against what they are doing. Okay, so today, Honorable Zake won. 
because truth is Anita Among was the one who was be, who was mocked he was the one who presided over a person who who mocked him you cannot be the judge in your own case so to me it it will, it, it is a very good milestone it will continue showing that an opposition commissioner or an opposition appointee cannot just be recalled or whipped because the speaker doesn't doesn't like him or her so the speaker of parliament must must rise to to the occasion he must not play politics where politics is not supposed to play that's why i keep on telling people that that is why whenever members of parliament go to the speaker's office he takes photos with them Okay? And these members, most especially our opposition leaders, he doesn't take photos just for that. He takes photos of them to prep politics. Okay, That is why it is very rare for, for an RM member of parliament to visit the speaker's office and they take photos for them to be published on speak, speaker Anita Mongo's uh, Twitter handle. But whenever an opposition leader, most, most especially those high-ranking members, go in, in, in our office, he takes pictures and post them on social media with an aim of of telling uh, uh telling uh, uh the masses that look these people are working with us soon i'm bringing them to the nrm it's not bad every speaker must work with any member of parliament both from the opposition and from for the nrm regime but i keep on asking why is it that it is normally anita among who publishes these photos not even his deputy so he, he uses this as a propaganda against the opposition okay Someone must sit down the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, to take him through what the Speaker is supposed to do for a better Parliament. So very many questions are arising. What if a person goes to court and petitions court that everything that was passed by the Commission was a, a nullity, was null and void? Do you see uh, 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 the constitutional void which can be created because a certain Speaker was ec excited they whipped someone. A certain speaker who, who didn't know what to do. They whipped someone. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Of course, that's my opinion. You can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video. Thank you very much for listening. And if this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. Peace.